Uh, this is a tragic end to a months long search for 17 year old Tamaya Trotter. Her family told me they've been searching for her since December 12th, only to find out that a man who lives down the street is accused of killing her. Police just tells me, oh, she's an angry runaway. Kendra Ward knew deep down her little sister Tamaya wasn't a runaway. I reported her missing, not a runaway. Ward filed the report December 14th. She also did some of her own searching. Blowing up the police, hiring a private investigator, putting up flyers, looking all over for this girl. The last time Ward saw Tamaya, December 12th. She left and said she'd be back. Her phone wasn't on, so we knew that she was probably just going to go across the street to McDonald's to use Wi-Fi. According to police, Tamaya went to the McDonald's on MLK and Lake Mead and ran into Jay Sean Bailey. I read in his arrest report that Tamaya told him her family kicked her out of the house, so he said she could stay with him. This is 17. She was old enough to make her own choices, but she was not kicked out. Bailey told police Tamaya sent him a message on Snapchat accepting his offer to stay over. When she got there, Bailey was on Xanax drinking wine. He says she drank too. Bailey said she got aggressive, pulled out a taser and started to use it. So he put her in a headlock for about 10 seconds. She stopped breathing shortly after. There's no reason for someone to do this to her. She's only 17. January 19th, Ward saw police swarm a sewer in her neighborhood. When they came over here, we just had the assumption that it's the possibility that it was her because she's been missing. Bailey lives four houses down from Ward. His family says they had no clue she was in the house. I never seen her in here. I don't even invite kids into this house. Bailey told police he was scared to go to jail for murder, so he moved to Maya's body to the neighborhood sewer drain. But he said the guilt of knowing what he did prompted him to call 911 about a month later. He eventually confessed to the crime. Don't nobody deserve to be down there. My kids walk past there every day to go to school and then know that the auntie is down there. And there are still a lot of questions tonight. Ward told me that she's never seen Bailey in the neighborhood. Also, in the arrest report, it didn't say whether Bailey knew Trotter before all of this. Reporting live, Abby Tedros, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.